everybody, Erica here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and it's time for our midweek Facebook Live. I am going to give everybody a few minutes to join. If you're watching in the replay, thank you. I had to switch times this week. Um, we had uh, doctor's appointments and I had to take my daughter to get her driver's license test. We're all over the place. Next week, unfortunately, is going to be the same way. So things might be a little wonky. Hi, Michelle. All right, I see you guys jumping on. I'm gonna turn on my other device over here so I can see all of your comments. I hope you guys are having a good week so far, um, preparing, making all of your Christmas preparations, hopefully. <laughs> Hi, ladies. I'm so glad that you made it. All right. All right, I think we're in the right place. Um, so this week, my product of the week is nowhere to be seen. It's the Tags and Tidings stamp set, which somebody had commented that they hadn't seen much of this online, and I totally agree. I think it's kind of a sleeper in the holiday catalog. Um, and it has kind of a really cool feature that I'm gonna show you. Uh, it's deceiving, I think. When you see it in the catalog, it's on page 24 of the holiday catalog. When you see it, you see a whole bunch of different stamps, right? Um, but they're actually in one long sheet, kind of like a background stamp. And then the framelit, which I dropped on the floor, is also one long framelit. So for making tags, you know, as we get closer to Christmas and things become frantic and we just need tags, it's a really great tool to have because just in one one stamp and one swipe through the big shot, you can get a whole bunch of gift cards. I mean, um, gift tags. We're gonna make a gift card holder today with our gift tags. All right, so before I turn the camera around, I wanna let you know that I'm gonna give away a hostess set on Friday. I'll pick one random person who shares this um, video on Facebook. Thank you for sharing. Cecilia's already jumped on it. Thank you, ladies. So if you'll share, I will put your name in a hat and draw a name randomly on Friday. Now on Friday's Facebook Live, I have three more projects that feature the same stamps and framelit, the Tags and Tidings Bundle. And I will be doing that live at two o'clock central on Friday. And that one's a little longer, a little more involved. And I give away two prizes on Fridays. I also have a PDF. And those make and takes are free with a purchase. So if you haven't joined me for that, make sure that you hop over to my group page, which I will link up at the top of this video when I'm done, and join so that you won't miss anything. I post a whole lot more of my group than I do here on the business page. And uh, you won't miss a thing if you're over there. And everybody's welcome. There's no requirement to join. Um, so I hope you join us. Okay, before one last quick reminder, you guys, my first Frost class, and my friend Rhonda's baby elephant class. We're calling it the best of 2018. Tomorrow's the last day to register for these classes to go. Um, these are not Christmas classes. These will come to you probably the week after Christmas. We're gonna try to mail them around the 21st. These are for when we are done with Christmas and we're ready to move on and do some other crafting. So mine is first frost, hers is baby elephant, and if you get them both, you get this set for free. Um, so details are over on my blog today. Just scroll down, click that link. You'll go over to the page with the details. And if you want to register, you actually have to email me and ask me for that direct link. I am not allowed to post that direct link on um, anywhere, really. So just email me. I'll be able to email it to you. Okay, I think we are ready. I'm going to flip the camera around. So give me just a second. Let me cover it up. So that it's like you're in a dark tunnel, not going through a roller coaster. Oh, my phone is saying, rotate your phone. Wow, I've never seen that sign before. All right, if I disconnect, you guys just reload and find me again. Let's hope that that doesn't happen this week. It's time for a new phone case. My phone has been beat up, used and abused, and I think I need to find something that will go in this holder a little bit better. All right, let's get still and even. Hi everybody, thanks for jumping on today. Okay, so you can see what we're making right there. This is a gift card holder and there's a backstory to this. This week my team did a gift card holder exchange at our Christmas party. Um, so long distance, 
downline sent them to me and my locals came and we put them all on a table and they were all in bags and we put numbers on them and then everybody drew a number. Um, but I got to see the ones that came in all week. And one that I absolutely loved came from my downline, Lori Chilton. I don't know if she's watching or if she's going to watch later, but Lori, this is a total case from yours. Yours was gorgeous. I changed the colors and the stamps, but I was super excited. It opens like that and just slides and has a little gift card in there. So I had to use it with our tags today. Um, and I couldn't wait to copy it. In fact, I loved their gift card holders so much that next week we may be doing all gift card holders because, you know, it'll be the week before Christmas, right? And we'll, that's what we'll be needing. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, tags and tidings. It comes in photopolymer, which is the see-through, the, the kind you can see through. And if you're looking for it in the catalog, whoops, here it is right here, page 24, okay? If you get the bundle, if you get both the stamps and the framelits at the same time, you save 10%. And this is retiring. So at the end of the month, it'll be gone forever. Um, if you like it, make sure you get it sooner than later, because the things that have been on the retired list um, are while supplies last. So they could possibly run out before the end of the month. All right. So what I have done is taken my big long stamp and put it on my Stamparatus. You can see here, it's one big stamp. They're not all individual, they are actually connected in one big stamp. Um, very similar to a um, background stamp. Now, I am going to blow your mind on Friday when I tell you to cut it apart and you're gonna think I'm crazy, but don't worry. You can't tell that this one has been cut apart in some places. You can do that. It's like a puzzle. They just go back together. All right, so we're going to put it on the stamp apparatus because I find that background stamps, large stamps, um, photopolymer especially, does really well, does best on your stamp apparatus. Um, the, sometimes when we have these large stamps and we stamp, we don't put equal pressure on it. So parts of it don't stamp right. Well, when you're on the Stamparatus, you can stamp again and make sure you hit all the spots you need to hit. So I put it on here. I have the black foam that comes with it because photopolymer needs the black foam. It's thinner than our red rubber. And this is just half a sheet of Whisper White. Um, you know, what I'm thinking about with this stamp is <laughs> instead of, I'm going to admit something to you guys. When I wrap my kids' presents, I take a Sharpie and I write their name on it for Christmas because I don't have time. But guess what? This has changed my mind. I'm going to do a whole bunch of these, just crank them through, and I will actually have tags to put on their gifts because it's so easy. Now, do you see this right here before I stamp? And it actually doesn't really matter because we're going to cut all these out, but it does kind of make me a little crazy to see that much ink. Just take your, your um, chamois or a paper towel and get all that extra ink. If you have a stampin' spot, they're really great for the Stamparatus. Those come in your paper pumpkin kits. All right, now we're gonna just go down. I'm using Poppy Parade today. I chose Poppy Parade because I have quite a bit of Poppy Parade ribbon. And I thought, you know what? If I make all these tags, I wanna have ribbon that coordinates. All right, so now, ooh, and I didn't put my magnet down. So let's hope we don't need to restamp. <laughs> we don't. Look how beautiful it is. See, you've got all those tags. Boom. I mean, that's a lot. All right, so now we're going to move the Stamparatus out of the way, and we're going to bring over the Big Shot and move the ink. It's Trisha on here. She gave me a hard time last time because I left my ink pad open. I know, I know. It's dangerous. Now you're just going to take this big, giant... Um, framelit and set it down, line it up on here. You can kind of eyeball it. The gingerbread man um, is one to really look at to center. And this one right here has lines on it and just kind of wiggle it until you get it in the right place. And then you run it through one time only. And we have a bunch of tags, look. You know, you could have your kids do this for you. You could, I mean, they just come right out. Or they should come right out, I don't know. Um, <laughs> mine are being persnickety. Um, look at that. So just think about this. You could do this on colored cardstock in different inks. 
You could just do it all on white. And I'm gonna use one to, to decorate my gift card holder, but here at the end, don't leave, because I have some that I've already done that I kind of fancied up. Now you don't have to fancy them up. You can just leave them like this if you want. If you're, you've got a lot of presents, you're in a hurry, you've got just tags. Um, you could do them on colored cardstock, different ink colors, whatever you want to do. But see how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's like magic, isn't it? All right, so I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to move all of these out of the way, and we're going to make Laurie's gift card holder, okay? This is so cute, and I have put all the measurements over on my blog because there's quite a few. We've got quite a few pieces. So I don't even have the cheat sheet here in front of me, but if I did, it would be a lot of measurements. So just go over there and you can copy it. It's not on a PDF, it's just there on the below at the bottom of the post. Um, the first piece, we're gonna score the five inch side at two and a half, okay? So we're just making it in half like that. And then the second piece, this is all Poppy Parade, we're gonna score the short side. It's at the three inch side at one and a half. Yes, Marianne, it can make tag making go very fast. Very fast. Put your kids um, to work and they will get it done. My kids like to do that kind of stuff. When I pay them, of course, they expect to be paid. <laughs> I trained them that way, I know it's bad. All right, now tear and tape. This is the bottom of the gift and this is the top of the gift, okay? And you know what? That looks like it's not long enough, doesn't it? Okay, hold on. It's not long enough. Let's cut another one. This is what happens when I don't practice beforehand. Let's see, it needs to be five and a fourth by three. Let's try it again. I have paper right here. Five and a fourth by three. I think I have paper. I'm gonna have to fix that if it's a typo over there. And that probably means the DSP is gonna be a little bit short. That's the wrong color. That was lovely lipstick. Don't worry, I will fix the measurements. Five and a fourth by three. All right, bring the simply scored back over here. And you want the lid to be just a little bit wider than the gift. And we might as well get that piece of DSP because it's going to need to be cut too, probably. All right, let's take a look at it again. Let's put it together. Let's get that base. There we go. And the lid. So see the lid needs to be just a little bit bigger. Take your tear and tape on your base and just at the very edge, the outside edges, put your tear and tape. You want to don't go in too far. You won't have enough room to put the little slider in there. I love making gift card holders because we give quite a few gift cards. I don't know about you guys, but my I like getting gift cards and my kids like getting gift cards. And uh, sometimes people, I know they say they're impersonal, but we like them. All right, so we've got that there. Now we've got some little pieces here that are gonna go right in the middle. Got Whisper White, and again, just check my blog for the exact measurements. And you know, think about, this paper is from the Brights DSP stack. You could just do any colors. I mean, this could be a birthday gift card holder. This could be a, you know, Father's Day gift card holder. Just change. The measurements. All right, speaking of changing them, I mean, not the measurements, the colors. What did I say? So five and a fourth, so this piece needs to be five, no, five and a fourth by one and a fourth. So we're gonna do one and a fourth by five. Ooh, I'm just going on the fly. I'm usually much more prepared than this, you guys. I was prepared. I was. I really was. What happened? Five and a fourth, five and an eighth. All right. You know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I was on the telephone. <laughs> I was on the phone when I was cutting my paper. Not good. 
not good at all. All right, now we've got it. Okay, so this is going to be our lid like that. Then we're going to, let's make the little slider part. These are all wrong pieces. These pieces are where you're gonna put your gift card, okay? And let's see, I have an extra gift card, usually in my drawer. Let's see what I have. I pick them up when they're cute to use for projects. You guys do that? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Probably is just me. Ooh, this one's cute. This one's from Target. Look at that. So cute. All right, let's make sure that my measurements aren't off here. This is the bottom. He's gonna slide in and out like that. All right, now let's get our lid. And we're gonna use dimensionals on this to give us some kind of um, a little bit, so that to make it a little bit wider so it's not so flat. And it'll slide over this bottom, okay? So I put two dimensionals there. I'm gonna slide it up so that it's almost to the top. And meanwhile, you gotta center it too. There we go. Yep, that works. Oh, poor Santa, it's covering his eyes. <laughs> That's okay. He wasn't a rectangle gift card. Still cute. I'm gonna put these dimensionals on the back as well just to give that room so that the bottom will slide in under the lid like that. Isn't that clever? So in and out. All right, now let's decorate it with our cute ribbon. Oh my goodness. There we go. I'm being, I don't know perfectionist. This is the ribbon I said. This is what's cho helped me choose the colors I wanted to do because I have a lot of it left. It's Poppy Parade woven ribbon and I do not believe it's carrying over either. I don't know that for sure though but I don't think it is. So make a bow. Cut your little ends there. Now let's get which tag are we going to use? We're going to use the ho 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 and I'm gonna take my white twine and I'm actually gonna thread it through. Sometimes I just fake it, tie a bow and stick it on top, but this time I'm actually gonna do it the real way. Take that, tie it around that bow like that. Make a little bow with this. So now we have two bows. There we go. All right, now the last piece is this boxwood wreath. Have you guys seen these? They're in the annual catalog and they have been around. They were new in last year in one of the catalogs. I'm gonna open it up and twist it and I'm gonna lay it right here in the middle and that bow is just gonna go in the middle of that wreath. So let's take some glue dots, some mini glue dots and Stick it right there and yes, Nancy, I'm reading your, your, um, your message. We do have new rectangle, stitched rectangle dies coming out in January. In fact, I was just playing with them right before I went live. I'm working on my bingo projects. If you guys haven't signed up for bingo online, there are only a few spots left and local bingo too, only a few spots left, you guys. And it's gonna have a lot of new stuff, new products, new paper, new ribbon, um, new framelits. It's gonna be very cute. Details on my blog um, at the bottom of the post. All right, so there we go. I just used glue dots to put that on. And there it is. How adorable. I hope you guys like that. I loved it. Laurie's, she used different paper and different stamps, but it was just as beautiful. All right, now don't go away yet. I'm not quite done. I have some fancy tags for you. I told you if you, you know, felt so inclined, maybe on a Friday night with a Christmas movie on and you wanna fancy up your tags, you can. So here are some of them, not all of them, 
but some of them I fancied up and there's going to be a picture of these over on my blog right now and you can get a closer look at them. I didn't list all the products that I use. It was just too much, but a lot of circles and um, the little pine branch and the pine, um, pine cone. This is the stitched circle from the stitched label framelits. Um, or the sprig punch if you have it, but you could also do the same thing with these guys. This is in the, oh, I can't remember the framelits. It's pines and, oh, it's in the annual catalog. Here's the stitched label from the farmhouse framelits. I added a few little um, blingy bling rhinestones there. And this I just made some banners. This is using the tag topper punch. So you can make them super fancy. Or if you're like me, you can just leave them plain because you know what, kids? It's a step up from a Sharpie on the wrapping paper. You could say, look what mom did for you this year. <laughs> My poor kids. Nah, they don't care what the outside looks like. All right, you guys. So that's it for today. Remember, Friday I'll be back at 2 o'clock over on my group page, two o'clock central. So set a reminder. And I'm gonna have a couple of little sneak peeks for you. We've got some exciting things coming up in January and we are creeping closer and closer to that. So I'm gonna show you just a couple of things, maybe one or no, two things. I've got two things. I'm gonna show you my paper share and my ribbon share for the occasions catalog as well as well, I'm going to keep it a surprise. I'm looking over there, but I'm not going to tell you yet. You have to come back on Friday. If you haven't joined my group, click the link up in the description and come join us so you can uh, watch live on Friday. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me today. I hope you have a great Wednesday. And let me know if you have questions, and I'll see you on Friday. Thanks, guys. Bye.